ABC Candidate presents Jeffrey Groundhog Predicts the Weather. Written by Bruce Kazielniak. That must be Jeffrey. Hmm, that must be where Jeffrey sleeps. And that's a burrow. And it says, do not disturb. One morning after a long winter's nap, Jeffrey Groundhog popped out of his burrow to look for his shadow. It was February 2nd, Groundhog Day. And that's what a groundhog really looks like. And that is where his hole is that leads to what they call his burrow. So there's the hole and this is what a burrow might look like. And so there's the hole and there might be a place where he goes to the bathroom and then there's a place where maybe he takes care of babies if it was a girl groundhog and there's a place to turn around. It might be another way to get out of it, a place for him to sleep. So it might look like that. So pretty interesting. Jeffrey remembered what his mother had told him. If you see your shadow on Groundhog Day, go back to sleep because winter will last six more weeks. If there is no shadow, spring will soon be here. And her little sign says, home in the ground, sweet home. So she's telling him how to predict the weather. Jeffrey hurried into town to tell the newspaper that he had not seen his shadow. So, no shadow and spring is almost here. Is that it? Asked Merton Moose. The story ran in that afternoon's Daily Gazette or the newspaper. It says, Groundhog says, no shadow, spring has sprung. Within a few days, the weather turned warm, the snow melted, and the ground thawed, which means it was no longer hard and frozen. Spring had truly sprung. Predicting the weather is easy, said Jeffrey, and predicting just means good guessing about what will happen. It says spring tea. The following winter, Jeffrey dozed, which means he napped, snug as a bug, which means he was very cozy, dreaming groundhog dreams in his warm nest at the bottom of his burrow. Remember, that's his burrow. Toward the end of January, folks started looking for clues as to what Jeffrey might predict. No, Mrs. Hen, you'll have to wait until February 2nd for Jeffrey's forecast. Yes, Mr. Duck, we'll let everyone know if Jeffrey sees his shadow. So they're all calling the newspaper Moose to see if he knows what's going on as far as the weather. As Groundhog Day drew near, television cameras and lights were moved into place around Jeffrey's burrow. This year, everyone would be able to watch the biggest, groundhoggiest Groundhog Day ever. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to cause a problem, them shining all the lights, because if there's a lot of lights, there's probably no... Yes, there may not be any shadow because the lights make it so that there's no shadow, maybe. And here's some of the signs. Spectacular Groundhog Day sale. Big, big Groundhog Day special. Big rock bottom prices, which means very cheap. Jeffrey's handsome picture had been popping up all over town. Groundhog watch. Groundhogger's jogging shoes. Put extra spring in your step. 
and they really mean by spring bounciness in their step but in this case we're talking about Jeffrey predicting the spring time and who's that in the Jeffrey GH sunglasses Jeffrey breakfast drink watch for Jeffrey Bright and early on Groundhog Day morning, everyone waited for Jeffrey. Anybody seen that groundhog? One hour passed. Two hours passed. Three hours passed. Yet still no Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Hello, Jeffrey! Called Merton. Are you home? So... Merton is calling to see if Jeffrey is going to wake up. Oh, is he going to wake up? Well, I would think so, yeah. I hope so. Oh, no. I've overslapped, groaned Jeffrey. And so he did not wake up when he was supposed to. He flew out of bed, dashed to his door, which means he crawled up really, really quickly. Hmm... Is he going to see his shadow? Mm, I don't know. I hope so. And made his appearance, which means he came out of his hole. Hmm. Lots of lights. It looks like looks like he has sunglasses on, doesn't it? Jeffrey, Jeffrey, called Merton. What did you see? Was there a shadow? I don't know cried Jeffrey. With all the cameras and lights and everybody crowding around, I could hardly see the ground in front of me, much less my shadow. Hmm. So it says Groundhog doesn't have a clue. I don't know what I saw, says Jeffrey. Was there a shadow? Weather picture muddled, which means it was unclear. Hmm. Now things were really up in the air weather-wise, which means as far as the weather goes. Nobody knew whether to bring out the golf clubs or the snow shovel. No one knew whether to wax the skis or the surfboard. And no one had a clue whether to plug in the electric fan or the electric blanket. All weather reports were canceled. So they say no more weather reports until Jeffrey makes up his mind. Jeffrey, this is causing major problems, muttered Merton, which means he said quietly, We need your prediction now. Oh, all right, moaned Jeffrey. I'll have my answer by this afternoon. It says, hello, hello, no we don't know what he saw. Hello, hello. No, we don't know what Jeffrey saw. So he's, Merton's having to answer the phone, telling other people that Jeffrey hasn't told them what's going to happen. Jeffrey says winter six more weeks. So Jeffrey did figure out that winter's going to be six more weeks. Hmm, I wonder how he did that. Did he think he just guessed? So... Jeffrey, how could you predict that the winter will last six more weeks? asked Rebecca Raccoon. No one was really certain if there was a shadow or not. Did you guess? Um, no, said Jeffrey. Did you make a study of how weather works? asked Sunny Squirrel. Nope, said Jeffrey. To be honest, I called my mom. On Groundhog Day, she always looks for her shadow, too. Phew, sighed Jeffrey. Predicting the weather is very tiring. I'd better get back to my nest for a nap. And that is exactly what he did. And it says, when shadows fall, sleep Snug, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Love, Mom. And that's a little sign he has up on his wall. <laughs>